In the next few moments, I'll share with you how you can import a template to Quantum. We'll jump directly into the software, which looks like this. This is just an example, and I'll show you here you have Project A with Scenario 1. I'll right-click and load Scenario 1. And in this example, I have imported a terrain model, a satellite image, I placed my endpoints, and I had some shape files with a little bit of information about a few objects in this project. So we have <clears throat> three different templates we have to define before we can set on a search. We have the design, we have the cost, and we also have the geometry of, for example, this road project. At the moment, we have no values or any good information in these templates. As you can see, we have just uh, a standard geometry. We have some default, uh, default bridges, default tunnels. So basically, we don't have the, the necessary information to set on our search. So in your project, it can take a long time. You have many people to, to discuss these input parameters. So therefore, we have created these templates with uh, industry experts. So you can get started a lot faster with a little bit higher quality. So in the newsletter in August 2019, we have created templates which you can download. Basically, you just need to, to click the link. Whether you perform Norwegian, Swedish or English language, it's up to you. In this example, I'll choose the English template for road projects. I'll just download it to my computer. I'll open the folder and you can see it's saved in my downloads. So I'll go back to Quantum. I close my scenario. And here is the step-by-step -step guide how to import a template. I'll right click on scenario one and I import catalog data. I find the folder where I saved the template, which is in my download folder. And the important thing here is that I have the template and you can see the only possible format is Q S set. So that's the format we, we import and export templates with uh, during, during using Quantum. So basically we just click open and a question will appear and the question will say, do you want to overwrite the geometry that you had and we say yes. I'll now just load the scenario once more and as you can imagine the changes has happened in our three different templates. You can now see that we have different speed limits for the road. We have the different geometrical parameters. And very importantly, we have also cost parameters for moving materials, 
else. We have the geology. We have cost for templates, materials. We have cost for, for bridges. We have different bridges with, with different costs. Other structures, areas, and line year costs. So working with industry experts on this field, we have managed to create quite exact templates for the cost parameters, which will give you accurate data and very realistic alignments. So to confirm how we can use the templates, we have, we have all the objects, we have the terrain model, we have the shape files, we now have the updated templates. We are ready to go further on to do a corridor identification for the project. So I'll click on corridor identification and I'll get the option of the job name. We can call it scenario one open open search and let's complete the corridor identification with 20 alignments for just for this example now i got my results for the 20 different alignments i can compare them i can see my alignment summary um, here under template materials i can see that we have some costs for the quantity and the cost for payment and subgrade. So from the cost parameters, we have payment 330 euros each cubic meter. And we have also for subgrade 30 euros each cubic meter. And you can see then in the alignment summary for template materials, we have this quantity of payment, the, that quantity of subgrade, and you can see that the cost here is calculated based on the input cost that the cost experts have created and defined for us. So with the template, you can uh, get accurate estimates. Of course, if you want to adjust the template, create your own or modify it, you are very welcome to, to do that or even create an own template for your company. That's, that would be just great. Um, just to, to add a comment here in the end, you can also go to the scenario one, right click, and then you are able to export the template. So basically that's the most important things you need to know about importing templates as well as creating them and export them. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Don't hesitate to contact our support division with email civil support at trimble.com with quantum master subject. If you'd like to discuss some other topics, Feel free to drop me an email at magnus underscore headley at trimble.com.